Amma Vida literally means house of the mother. Back in the days, the king's wife was referred to as Amma by the citizens of the town. Previously, the wives of the kings weren't housed within the palace. Rather, the king built separate houses for them. There are several such houses in Tiruvannathapuram. Here, we're standing outside one of the most prominent of these Amma Veda, the Vadasheri Padanyare Amma Veda, popularly known as the Tanjavur Amma Veda. This was constructed during the reign of Swati Tirunal, one of the most progressive rulers of the Travancore Kingdom. Travancore was at the zenith of cultural and artistic refinement during the reign of Swati Tirunal Ramavarma, who was a brilliant music composer. He has authored several compositions in the classical Carnatic and Hindustani styles. Two sisters, young dancers from Tanjavur, Suganda Parvati and Sundara Lakshmi, became part of Swati's royal court in 1840. In 1843, Swati Tirnal married Sundara Lakshmi, and it was for her that he constructed this beautiful house. This house was constructed to the west side of the Vadasheri Ammavida and came to be known as the Vadasheri Padanyare Ammavida. This house was constructed in the traditional Kerala style of architecture with two central courtyards, the Ettegetta style. The speciality of this building is that the walls and the roofs are built entirely out of wood. After Swati's untimely demise in 1846, Sundara Lakshmi lived in the Amma Vida with her elder sister and her family. Over time, the house changed hands and it was eventually bought over by Sri Narayanathambi. In the loving memory of Tanjavur Sundara Lakshmi, it was Narayanathambi who decided to construct this beautiful double-storied marvel that today is called Tanjavur Amavida. This building is of great architectural interest because it marries two very contrasting styles, the Western colonial style and the traditional vernacular architecture. On the facade, you can see graceful arches flanked on either sides by fluted pilasters, a hefty cornice with ornate floral motifs, louvered shutters and coloured glass in the window, which together gives it a very colonial air. The final surprise comes in the form of two Tanjavur-style bay windows on the first floor, which open to the Arata Road below. 